All right, housemates, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is the week I said in my last video, if you watched it, that we were going to get into some crazy, crazy stuff. Um, it's actually not that bad, um, but I think it could be. It could turn out that bad. It could turn out bad. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna go touch all this shit up, and then um, we're going to be painting. Ah! Ugh. We're gonna be doing this again. I'm using all the exact same products, I'm going to do it the exact same way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try and improve on the look to make it pretty, I hope. Anyway, we'll see what happens, stay tuned, I'll be RB. And then we're going to beat the, well, I don't want to say we're going to beat this mug. We're going to do something to it. <laughs> Alright, stay tuned. Here we go. So, first off... In that picture, I have eyebrows, and I obviously don't anymore. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna do my brows um, before I do anything else. I'm just gonna draw in like a quick, like really light brow, because there's barely anything there. I didn't even used to like draw them in or put color on them. No brow cream, nothing. Nothing in there to darken them up. Just natural boy brows. So. Let's go ahead and start that. And I'm gonna keep them kind of like where they are in the picture because I don't wanna get too far off of the challenge per se. So I'm gonna do Okay, so, yeah, that's gonna be my natural looking boy brow. So, for the rest of the tutorial, I'm gonna be using every single product that I used to use, um, I'm gonna be using again. So, uh, I've had, some of these products are really, really fucking old, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, so I don't even know if this is gonna work, but it's just old makeup that I had lying around and I realized that I still had all of the stuff that I used to wear on my face, so I figured, why not try and do this as a challenge? Um, I'm really afraid at how this is gonna go. So I'm gonna go in and do my base, and then we're gonna do a bit of eye makeup, and this is probably gonna take me about 15 minutes total. Okay, so that's the beard cover. Um, I never used to set my beard cover, so I'm not going to this time either. I am going to attempt to draw over this like I used to with my friggin' cream, cream blend stick, and hopefully there's enough in this. I don't think there is, but we'll see what happens, because I don't know what I was thinking back then. I don't know. <laughs> Look how pink that is. We're gonna have to layer this, oh my god. Now the next step is to take another beauty blender, because I never used concealer back then. Cream blend stick in bright white. See this? And not blending it out on the back of the hand first. No, 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 right in. Now, because I, I don't know why. Why cut the cheek and then go back in and ruin it? I used to just, like, blend it out a little bit, which I think is stupid now. Like, why would I, why would you cut it and then, so from here, we're gonna use a fuck ton of powder 
and I actually have the same powder that I used to use because I now use it for my boy beats because it's cheap as fuck and it lasts a long time. But it's the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder in Translucent. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't like performing with this on because it just, it's not great. It's not great under lights and it's not great under some, under heat or for someone like me who sweats. So we just don't use it for that anymore. I use Ben Nye now. Um, it's a hell of a lot better. But yeah, so I used to just take a big brush like this, do one of these. Oh, don't worry about access. No. Like, what was I doing back then? Here we go, though. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Fuck, this is awful. How did I ever- I probably inhaled so much powder. I can't believe I used to use this much fucking powder. It's, it's on everything. Now that I put all that powder all over my face, going with my Graftobian clown white, <clears throat> Again, excess. Okay, so we've got all this cakey goodness happening under the eyes. Yeah. Oh, and that's still wet. See, this is why you can't do this with a brush. Like, parts of it are still wet. Okay, well, that all just happened. Whew, it's still flying around. <coughs> wow. I feel so sorry for anyone who used to do their makeup beside me. Jesus. That was terrible. All right, let's move on. So the eyes were really, really simple because I used to do everything with my NYX palette and my one Morphe palette that I bought like when I very first started doing drag because if there was one thing that I knew from watching makeup tutorials, it was that I really, really, really wanted to make a Morphe palette. So NYX, black. <laughs> black from the Morphe palette. That's it. That's all we're using for this. We take the dark, 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 dark brown and we put it right in the crease and attach it to our brow <laughs> like that. And you're left with something like this. We take the black. And just black, no brown, just black. And you smoke out all of this. Yep, that's looking pretty fucking familiar. Okay, so the next step is to take the white, the Graftobian, put a whole shitload in the crease, so... Oh, right. <sighs> now we take the highlighter. Don't pay attention to these two. They don't come in this palette. You used to take this highlighter right here. Mm-hmm. This one. 
and all on top of the lid. I don't know why. I don't know what I thought that was doing after I slapped on a pair of 301s. Well, I wasn't even wearing 301s in that picture. They were big though. And covered up anything, so like why would I bother? So now we're gonna brush all this off. This really doesn't want to come off this foundation. It's probably because the foundation's old, but honestly, I remember it being like this anyways. Okay, so now we're gonna take our uh, contour. Um, we're gonna go in to this one. <laughs> so that's it, just one color. Um, and then the same contour color for the right here. Yep. So yeah, that's it. I never contoured the top of my forehead because I don't know why. It just was always huge. Now I'm going to put on blush. I'm going to use this NYX blush that I have. Um, it used to be the only thing that I would ever use on my face. And yes, it's red. This is in the color crimson. I've had it forever. <sighs> um, the only difference between me and this blush back then and me in this blush now is that I use a hell of a lot less of it now. Um, but yeah, used to just do one of these, flick it and it hurts my soul. Okay, next moving on to the chin contour, the darkest color. And I used to just do one of those. And it's funny because in the picture that I posted at the beginning of this, you can't even see that it was this dark, but it was always. I always walked out with a chin strap. Yep. what's going on now. Okay, um, I never used highlighter, so that's a step we can skip. I never put highlighter anywhere on my face, um, other than, um, like, yeah, just right in the corner of the eyes and on the lid. So, um, here's what we're gonna do to finish the, the eye now. We're going to take the white powder on one of these sponges Put it in here. Okay, and then I went and dug out one of my old um, glitter liners. I use these a lot actually, but I decided to use an old one because it's in the same color that I used to use and it's been in that drawer for, I don't know. So a little bit right here, a little bit right here. And then uh, we're gonna get into some liquid liner. I don't have the liquid liners that I used to use because they were trash. Um, so I'm gonna be using the NYX Super Skinny and NYX Super Fat Eyeliner. Um, I might not even need to use this. I don't know if there's enough room. I used to take my eyeliner up and just like really wing it out. And there wasn't much blending because I didn't know what blending was. Um, oh my God, I forgot to contour my nose. Okay, so I still have the same brush that I used to use to contour my nose. Yep. 
bunch of that on there and there's no basic shape it's mostly just making your nose look bigger that's the nose contour <laughs> so eyeliner very simple um, I now take my eyeliner above my whole lid because I have extremely hooded lids and I shape my eyebrows and my brows are always much higher so I have a lot of space to work with. That is not the case with this look and it looks terrible. There it is. There's Lita's old eye. So I'm using the NYX Butter Lipstick in Lifeguard. It is pretty nice, but um, I don't know if it's as red as that one. That's pretty close. If I had to go to a gig like this right now, I would call in sick. This is awful. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put on some old lashes. Give me one sec. I couldn't find a ratty white wig to wear, so I just decided to put on this instead. It's just about as bad. Um, I don't... Let's just try and fix it a little bit, okay? Let's just try. So, let's take this off first. And... Okay, so I have taken the lashes off um, and I took the hair off. Uh, the lip's actually not that bad, so I'm gonna keep the lip the way that it is, but I'm going to add some highlighter. I'm gonna try and like uh, fix this a little bit because it's really, really, really pink. Um, and then we're gonna see if we can smooth out the jawline, uh, make it look a little less crazy. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens here. Stick with me. I think this is gonna be really fun to try and fix.
use some of this. It's got a bit of a shine to it, but it's a nice transition color as well. Pop that off, put it right on the blush, and already that you can see how that's going to mute that out a little bit. It's not quite as bright. So this is it. This is the look. I fixed it all up. I'm going to throw on some lashes. I'm going to dust off all the stuff that I've got baking. And uh, yeah, see what it looks like with some lashes on. BRB. Well, here it is. It's definitely not the best, but it's a hell of a lot better than what it was when we started. I will give it that. Um, I wasn't even sure that I was going to be able to pull this off. And um, yeah. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, actually. Um, so yeah, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and also click the notification bell so that you can see all of my future updates and videos. I will be trying to do these videos weekly. I think the next one I'm going to do will be probably a boy beat, because I haven't done one of those on this channel yet. And if not, I think I might get into some of my Halloween looks that I did uh, throughout the year. But um, yeah, April is going to be very, very busy to, for me, so I may only get around to uploading a couple of times in April. Um, but I'm going to try my best to make sure that I film a lot and edit as quick as I can and continue to upload the videos. Um, this lash wants to fall down. Oh well, fuck it. I ain't going nowhere. Um, so yeah, this is the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please check out the shop below in the links and my Instagram as well as my Facebook page. If you have anything specific that you would like to see in, a, in an upcoming video, please leave a comment below and I will definitely take that into consideration. I think that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, like I said, give it a thumbs up and otherwise, fuck off. What did you watch it all for? Peace!